Insider. Oh, and yeah, it's me. I am not going anywhere, no matter what happens, because when somebody truly believes in something, nothing will get in the way. We have had to deal with covering drama-related community events, and has led to sanctions towards multiple community organizations, and it managed to affect Dual Insider, unfortunately. However, this roadblock has been firmly demolished. I strongly believe in fostering a positive community in Dual Universe. And when somebody's passions and hard work is affected by sudden sanctions without prior warnings, I will not tolerate it. That being said, unnecessary drama will no longer be covered in our updates. Let's dive right in to the Nova Quark updates for the month of February. On February 1st, Nova Quark announced that they are now upping the server testing hours for the Alpha 1. Now all the tests will be 96 hours starting every Thursday. On February 12th, Novacork announced their new studio in Montreal. This is an effort to accelerate the development of Dual Universe. New positions have been opened up including management positions. If you would like to learn more, a link can be found below. Throughout the month, Dual Universe released new background art with a variety of different concepts if you would like to see the art posted this month, a link can be found below. Lastly, JC recently announced a new upcoming meetup in Montreal. The meetup will be on March 5th, and it will include a live gameplay demo. More information can be found below. Well, unfortunately that is all the Nova Cork updates for this month. Now let's check in with Clack Knight, who has the latest civics updates. Black Knight here, let's take a look at the top 10 organizations this month. Due to the sudden community conflicts and sanctions, two organizations have fallen off the top 10. This includes New Genesis and Dark Star Imperium. However, both organizations are quickly rising back up and their member base is still on their discords. Here is a look at the top 5 military powers. Genesis has passed up Empire due to the massive growth this month, however the spamming and unhealthy recruitment techniques have not gone unnoticed. Here is a look at the top 5 most active organisations this month. Lastly, here is a look at the top 5 largest publicly known federations. going on party people this is sky here this month just flew by didn't it well i'm here to cover this month's political updates before we dive right in though there's some important changes to our coverage guidelines that i'd like to make clear in an effort to avoid drama events that are unrelated to the scope of dual universe politics we have updated our coverage guidelines to make sure that what we cover is relevant to everyone therefore we will no longer be covering trolling, name calling, troublemaking, and any drama related event that is not related to a specific political shift or community creation. With that said, we will ensure we get the important information first, so we can keep the community informed on what matters most. This will include political shifts, community creations, and growth milestones. If you guys have any questions about the updates to our coverage policy, please feel free to let us know down in the comments below. Now, let's dive right into the political updates for the month of February. On February 13th, Meridian Jumpworks reached 100 members. This is a sign of more growth to come as the year progresses. On the same day, the Arch Confederacy released their newly established 
Constitution. The document outlines the overall purpose of the Alliance, the general structure, the voting system, and more. A link can be found below. On February 21st, Master Chief released another Dual Universe Yellow Pages promotion video. The video includes organizations such as the Opian Federation, Ethereal Sirius, and the Eldridge Nation, among others. If you would like to watch the full video, a link can be found below. On February 24th, the Solar Empire suddenly released a new promotional video, claiming that they are returning. This is a sign of more content coming from TSE in the coming months. On the same day, the Solar Empire and Federation Alpha signed a dual citizenship agreement. The agreement allows citizens access to the exclusive benefits with both organizations including equal rights, land rewards, and more. Both of these organizations have been on very good terms recently, and this agreement is a sign of more friendly relations to come in the near future. Lastly, on February 25th, the Aeonian Federation released their new February press release. The document includes information on their latest project, such as the Requite program and the AFID website. A link can be found below. Well, that about wraps it up for the political updates this month. Definitely not the most active month we've had. However, the community still continues to push out creative content and new innovative ideas. Anyways, be sure to subscribe to Dual Insiders so you never miss another video. And check out the Discord for updates on everything regarding Dual Universe and Dual Insider updates. I will see you guys next month. People holding together. A group. A community. A nation where each individual chooses their own direction. Multiple small paths forming one big future. A citizen's path can be whatever they choose it to be. Whether a career in the military where they would serve as trooper, fighter pilot, captain or even general admiral to explore and to protect the nation, the people. A career in policing and law as police officer, lawyer, detective or judge to protect and to preserve law and order. A career in innovation as engineer, shipwright, designer, architect, programmer, inventor or scientist to ameliorate the standard of living and to improve technology, the catalyst of development of society. A Korean economy as merchant, banker or even governor of industry, finance or commerce to ensure a smooth operation, to maintain efficiency and to secure the nation's needs. A Korean logistic as miner, pilot or governor of resources or transport to furnish and transport resources and materials for the nation. This nation has a lot to offer. Take the opportunity and be part of something bigger. Take your own path, but with us. This is the Federation Alpha.